This is actually a cheaper and like potentially less uh, quality pump, but it has a maximum pressure rating of 100 PSI. Uh, that one's so. designed to flow 3.7 gallons a minute, and I don't know what its maximum pressure rating is, but when trying to flow 3.7 gallons a minute through all these tiny passageways, it can't handle it and shuts off. This is rated for four liters a minute, so a lot less. As long as it keeps flowing and doesn't shut off, it should be plenty of flow for the turbo. So, yeah. And it came with a bunch of weird... I know, I was looking at that, like <laughs> really weird, super cheap, like, <laughs> what the heck? We got the red handles, which would normally mean positive on a green wire and black handles, which would normally mean negative on a red wire. So we're kind of guessing that this is positive or this is positive. I'm gonna go with the color on the clamp. Okay, so that's, we're going that's with- That's what most people are gonna look at, so. We're going with green wires positive. <laughs> Sounded like something exploded. There's our point of failure. It's a 100 PSI pump with uh, the two cent attachment. Yeah, apparently. So the very first community to recognize Grindhard Plumbing Company in the channel was the Redneck Engineering Reddit. So in proper Redneck Engineering fashion. Does this count? <laughs> <laughs> so we got the right size nut that fits the banjo bolt welding it to the nut that fits the pump. Exactly. It's gonna be perfect. <laughs> it's gonna be perfect. Step one to test your oil pump. Warm up oil. <laughs> Not a recommended method, but. <laughs> hey. That's good. That's pretty good. Don't shoot. Barbie's on jack stands. We got new oil thinner oil, finished the dump pipe, and we got the new oil pump, which stays on and works well. So Yeah, it uh, works much better. Oh yeah. And on, and on the plus side, it's also lighter by a lot than the yeah, oil pump Yeah, much smaller, less power draw. Turns out, turns out a cheaper, crappier pump was actually better. <laughs> Who would've thunk? It's ready for a... Uh, Ready for a test run. So right now we're gonna take it out on the driveway for a few laps and see if she's ready to rock and roll. Then we're headed to the Oregon coast and it's gonna be ridiculous. Boy, I hope this works. Yeah. It's hot. <laughs> Touch. It means that means hot oil circulating through it. As far as I can tell, though, it's uh, not fast. <laughs> not fast at all. As in, like, 
Like slower than it At was before? At the moment, it feels a lot slower than it was before. <laughs> Shoot. I could be wrong, <laughs> but that's what it feels like. So on the initial drive, neither of us could hear anything spooling. So maybe it's just because the exhaust, we're gonna pop the exhaust off and see if it's still spooling. Time to see if she's spooling. take it for a lap without the exhaust. Maybe that dump pipe's too restrictive. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds way cooler without the exhaust. Oh yeah. It was the exhaust pipe. World of difference. <laughs> Man, I didn't, I thought that pipe was fairly decent in size, but I guess not. <laughs> Is it faster than it was? Wow. Well, on dirt, who knows, but I guess I need to make a bigger dump pipe tomorrow. <laughs> sure, All right. spent a lot of time on that one. Yeah, and it looks super dope. Last minute modifications before we hit the coast. The Barbie car is on three ton jack stands right now. I don't think they're quite strong enough. Yeah, this is very dangerous. <laughs> if it falls on you, it'll probably kill you. Yeah. So the dump pipe on the Barbie car is too restrictive and we don't have a whole lot of wider pipes. So we already threw away the rest of the exhaust from the Tacoma, but I think it's gonna be the perfect size. So I'm just gonna cut a chunk out of what's still there and we'll use that to make the new dump pipe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve Hessick, we're at Sand Lake in Oregon, and this is the 300cc drifty trike thing. Go see what it does in the sand. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, it's running like ass because I got water in the air filter, I think. Yeah, but if I take off the filter charger, that might help. All right, Barbie Turbo just isn't working for us. Ethan's switching it over to NA right now, and hopefully it works. Hopefully we didn't do anything too bad to the engine, but um, we're about to find out. That's good. Is it full of oil? I think it is from the turbo. It's alive! I need ear muffs. That was, that was so defeated. I was so done. <laughs> you're so defeated, now you're so stoked. This is hilarious. This is my favorite part. Ford, <laughs> Ford on Ford Prime here. I think you're gonna be the first person not us to drive it. I will gladly be that person. Well, in true grind hard fashion, we're done when all the toys are broken, I guess. <laughs> As usual. So, uh, the turbo was not a success. I mean, it was always an experiment, and that was the point, was to have fun and see if we could do it. 
didn't work. Uh, it ran all right for a minute. It didn't really have any extra power, but then it started blowing oil and just, you know, I don't know. It's, it doesn't have a water jacket on it. Also, you're sucking fuel through the turbo. That's probably dissolving some of the oil and sucking it into the engine and maybe messing up the seals. It's non-optimal, but it was a fun experiment. Yeah. And we got some parts for something else. Exactly. Well, we fit them both in the truck, so that's good. Today was awesome, though. I mean, crazy stuff like this doesn't always work, but 